Hey guys, guess what? I got another project for you. I know, right? How can I possibly take on even more projects? Why well, I have so many projects that I need to finish. It's kind of weird, but um, luckily, luckily though, this this one, this project um, is a bit different. Number one, it was not my idea. And number two, I will not be doing most of the work. So um, keep in mind though, it will be a long one. This project will start off with this video, but it will take quite a bit. So without any further ado, let's just dive right into it. I'm gonna explain the situation. So the situation is right here and uh, also that room. Well, actually this would be phase one. Phase two would be that room, which does not exist right now. I'm not really sure what we will do first. Perhaps we'll start off with phase two and then um, do this bit. So we have a um, living room here and a bedroom there. And on these two rooms, we have um, two, three, three adults, not including me and three little devils. Clearly not enough space. Yo. So the goal would be to get more space, more bedrooms. Anyway, I'm not really sure of the plans yet, but the current idea is that um, we're gonna have a door here and another door in that room, which will lead to the new rooms. And while we are doing all of that, we will also well, we're gonna upgrade these rooms. So we want a new floor here. This floor is crap. I made this floor myself maybe like eight years ago, but um, it was kind of super broke at the time. So we reused old flooring boards and uh, gonna have grown sick of them by now. So we can do a new floor here. That would be great. Now these flooring boards, they are super fine. Um, but uh, most likely gonna do a new floor here as well. I'm not gonna throw any of this stuff away. I'm gonna salvage as much as possible and maybe I will need it in the future. For example, uh, perfect firewood right here. So yeah, phase one, whichever comes first, would be to reimagine these two rooms, make them more, more civilized. But um, let's go check out the new rooms. So the two new rooms will be here. Build some type of wall just where the giant log is and gonna have two massive bedrooms here or two smaller bedrooms and some type of a middle room. We already have some type of a door opening which has been closed off way back there. Mm, also have a window opening. No idea what that's about. If I were to guess then Originally the building ended with this wall and this this just is Addition that would be my guess. No idea what's up with that hmm. We have a similar hole in the other side Same deal that also maybe we'll get a better picture if we clear all this crap away That would be the first task to do anyway clear this whole area up Basically, I'm just gonna put the 
couple of firewood racks here so that super mom can super mom can remove all the firewood by the way this project it's kind of about her so believe it or not super mom does not have a room for herself no i know right how lame is that so one of these two rooms it will be a personal room for her i'm betting it's gonna be this one devil's gonna be on that side I think uh, it should fit and basically I will continue this video once I have an update for you guys like I said I won't be doing most of the work this is not my project I will just kind of help out a lot a lot a lot basically I will do like 95% no like no, let's have a click. So, you would have a kidney bow, you would have a kidney. I see you. Pussy cat. By the way, my homemade trailer, guys. I built this thing when I bought that thing. I remember I built it on a very slim uh, budget. I think all in all I paid like 100 something. Best investment I've ever made. This thing has been so useful. But uh, it's starting to show its age. I mean the bottom blade is just about to cave in. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a bit of foreshadowing here. So I wanna... So I wanna fix up this trailer a bit. Uh, probably gonna throw the piece of crap plywood away and replace it with a steel plate and I also need to take this entire area forward so I just need to undo that bolt move the entire garage that way and uh, then we should be good the current problem is that uh, if there is too much weight on the trailer the balance is well out of balance so the trailer will actually lift the rear end of the ATV towards space. That's not ideal, so I need to fix that.
So while I was working on the Yanmar, it looks like they mostly cleared this area out. Great open space now. Okay, so the first thing uh, that I have to do here is sort out the foundation. And this side, uh, this side actually has a foundation, a solid concrete foundation. But I'm not really sure how deep it goes. I built it, but I can't remember. It, don't worry, it's completely normal. I can't even remember what I did yesterday. Plus the thing is uninsulated, so I do need to dig it out from the outside and add some uh, insulation to it. And if it's not deep enough, I need to make it deeper. This side though. This side is just sitting on a pile of rocks. That is not a great foundation. Especially if you want people to live in there. I mean, everyone can just get in there like mice, cats, maybe dogs, definitely douchebags. And um, so I got to remove all those rocks, then bore a nice thick wall of concrete there. Uh, I also have to connect it up with that piece there. I think this is the last rock and then we should have a then we should have a concrete wall beyond this point. So I need to mend these together and add insulation. I think I'm gonna try to reach as far as I could, maybe under this post. And if all went well, then let's sort out the other side. Cabbage. Those who know, they know. Oh, this is not a mirror. Okay. Man, this thing is pretty cool. Soviet medical cabinet. Looks pretty dope. So does that thing. This thing will never fail. It will last forever, man. How much do I weigh even? Which? Okay. One and a half. What? Thing is clearly broken, man. Put on your helmet, man. Obviously, I have to remove this bit here. I'll do this later. Luckily, it looks like I left plenty of. Spare gable, so I can just kind of, you know, we're gonna have a wall here, so I'm just gonna take it from there and put it here. Okay, so I need to lift this wall somehow. I just need to get this wall up, support it on the floor here temporarily, somehow. Then I can make that foundation happen under it. <sighs> okay, so first of all, I'm gonna um, separate the bottom log from the concrete. Then I need to connect all these logs together. I'm thinking one support on that end and one support somewhere here. Add a couple of jacks down there. Start doing that thing. And uh, then we can hope maybe the thing will rise up. Fingers crossed.
Daylight. Caution. Bunch of burr now. Okay, these two should work. Got to take my Chucky boy. Chuck goes under here. Sadly, my second bottle jack is kind of tied up uh, in the hydraulic press, but maybe this thing will able. It. Maybe this thing will be able to lift it on this side. It shouldn't have a lot of weight on this corner. Not a lot. I mean, only the wall and. Uh, most of the weight is on this corner, I'm pretty sure. Because of that wall, as I try to lift this one up, that one will be like, where are you going, my friend? I will come with you. They're gonna die together, so they're buddies. I do need to install some diagonals, though. Uh, so when I lift this wall up, it's just gonna wobble. Maybe it will stay, but... but it still might wobble, uh, so I'm gonna lock it into place with a couple of diagonals. hate when it does that. It's like, are you gonna drill or are you gonna just fly into space or something? It's so annoying. You know, for this lifting purpose, this setup should be enough. I really can't see anything that can go, well, south. Should be great, but I'm gonna add a couple of sorties on this side as well. Probably not going to do anything, but... Bro, this just brings back so many memories. You know, I, I haven't done this type of work for years. Trying to lift up walls to build foundations. And there is this video I made, I think last year, where I pretty much just kind of recapped all the work I did on the main house. If you have not seen that video and might be interested, I will draw that video down in the description. And that was a wicked ride and I would definitely recommend to watch that one. I'm gonna check this end up first because of the puny check. Puny check, man. There might be a chance that this will not be able to check it up. Okay, kind of getting hard now. But we have a bunch of cracking going on all around the place. So I guess something is happening.
heard some cracking in the roof. That's fantastic, man. Gonna have to rebuild this house soon because the roof is gonna collapse. Another project. Yes. It's getting really hard now. Bro, I just felt the concrete floor going downwards. Plus we got a crack here. Wow. Dude, that thing is getting wrecked. Good riddance. Don't need you. Uh, looks like we got about maybe two and a half centimeters. I'm gonna keep it on this level. Maybe it's enough. The problem is that I can't really check this end up anymore because of that puny check. Two tons is apparently not enough. Plus, if I start checking with the 20 ton there, that's even gonna put more pressure on this check. But I think we're in the clear. Yeah, we got a crack. We got... Mm, yeah, definite crack there. Where the log used to sit, you can see a definite gap there. Whoa, the entire floor is just cracked. Um, I can just, I can pump this no problem. 20 tons, man. What a crap floor. Okay, so I got the wall suspended nicely now. It's not sitting on the rocks anymore. But I'm kind of skeptical about this crack right here. I guess there's a lot of pressure on that spot. You know, when I'm starting to dig out material from under the logs, it's just gonna undermine this uh, floor even further. Um, probably not gonna like collapse or something like that, just might sag down slowly. And then later I would need to lift the log wall up again. Now this end seems slightly better. Apart from this crack here, which kinda extends to here. I'm not really worried about this side though, because of that piece there. Even if you were to remove this entire wall, that beam up there will hold the roof still up. This side though has the smaller end, so I'm gonna add an extra post here, just in case. Where'd that thing go? No problem on this side.
know, I think this excavator is a bit too big for this job. I should buy like a mini, mini excavator, micro, micro excavator. But I should get a pretty straight line without uh, deviating too much to the outside. I'm gonna mess up this, um, whatever. Piti, bro. 
Sono cipino un cattivo. 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 Sono cipino un sand there, concrete right there, not that thick, like 8 centimeters. I don't really need to go any further, this is perfect. I just need to dig out this corner 
and go there. And I also need to dig this further in. It's got a manual mode this. Power line by the way. This was the original power line that came into the house. I remember this wire, it actually it, it actually went up on this wall. I was maybe like then or something, I don't know. And this is a three-phase power, so yeah. But this is the new power line that uh, I installed some years ago. I don't think it will get in my way. But I do believe I need to get that rock out of here. That will get in my way. I'm kind of trying to undermine this rock in hopes that it will just sort of drop down eventually. Check that soil out, man. It's nothing but uh, gravel and rocks all over the place. No wonder that there's at least two gravel quarries in this area. This place is a gold mine. All that sand and gravel and rocks under the soil here in this whole area it's just a gold mine gold mine my ass kind of sketchy to stand huh under here because you know we got the jack sitting on this point there's nothing under the jack just the concrete. Good thing I installed that uh, secondary post. Pretty sure this uh, would have just broken by now. I mean the beers that the crack has pretty much stayed roughly the same. So I assume this post has uh, taken over the support by now. Something's heavy. So the foundation here doesn't look that deep, correct? Well, actually, it uh, it goes deeper. It's somewhere there. I know it's not deep enough still, but I did not know better. That was like 10 years ago, and I've had no issues so far. So I'm not gonna fix that ever. That is way too much work. It's just so shallow on this spot because the foundation... It... Well, foundation goes like this, but... At the end, it kind of pivots upwards, and that end is this end. Obviously, I'm gonna make this foundation a wee bit deeper. The way it's supposed to be. I'm not sure about this rock, though. I'm kind of hoping it will just break. Please. Man, that was so easy. I could have just parted on it or something. Great, this I can work with. Great.
OSHA inspector look away. Don't worry guys, this video gets out and I'm still alive. What a sight from the balcony. Two dollar wheel right here. I am blessed. Okay, first things first, gotta lay some tarp or some plastic crap. Okay, so any heavy duty plastic should do. I just happened to use any well, any leftovers I have from uh, other projects. And the only purpose of this thing is to gain a greater shield between the ground and the concrete. Because the concrete will absorb moisture from the ground and that moisture will eventually go to the wood. I will be adding a separate barrier later on between the wood and the concrete. So I'm not even sure if this is necessary, but I don't know. I've I've done it always, so right, whatever. But anyway, um, next thing, let's fire up the lottery machine. Need to get some sort of a base going on here before I can make the main foundation. By the way, guys, check this bottom log out. It's solid as a rock, and it's been sitting on, uh, I guess, boulders over a hundred years. I've heard that um, you don't need to add anything between a log and just a natural rock. That rock will not carry any moisture over to the wood. I got proof right here. This uh, log is not rot. Although it's been in contact with uh, rocks over a hundred years and it still looks great. Concrete though, it's, it's not the same as mineral rock. Concrete is crap. Rock is a lot better. Oh man, this, this cement is starting to go bad. Glad I can use it up now. Looks like we're in business. And one of these days I really need to... I don't know. I suppose do something similar as I did to the Yanmar there. Like uh, a complete overall. That thing definitely has earned its keep.
leave the bottom side open. I don't think it will be an um, issue. Later I can uh, just cut this off with a chainsaw and then uh, I should be able to run whatever pipes or whatnot I want through this joint. At least that's the goal. Digging out sand later, it's probably a lot easier than half a meter of concrete. Good thing I noticed this major design flaw. Probably the most overview of thing I've ever done. It's just too wide. You know, I think it's gonna take a bit of time. I was kind of hoping that uh, maybe I could continue this today, but uh, apparently it's not cure enough. Guess I can do the other side in the meantime. The process is pretty similar on that side, but a lot less work. So, so let's do the other side and then later finish this. I suppose the goal is to just remove these rocks, dig out the foundation, and then um, then I will think of something. I'm gonna put the smaller pocket on the hole though. Definitely this thing went too wide. I don't want it to be that wide. It's completely unnecessary. This is definitely too much.
Kun sä lähet jopun. The sand is a bit frozen. But nothing too bad. First time ever, too much concrete, wow. I hate this crap. Close my chain.
What the crap? What? What is this? I mean, what a tricky situation. I mean, put that there. This, this can definitely stay here. If my chain wasn't screwed before, it sure is now. Hmm. Gotta protect what's important, right? Should be fine, this. Guys, I'm gonna be just flat with you. I kinda hate this job and I love this job at the same time. Not sure what does that actually mean, but there's that. You know what, I probably overdid this a bit. But better safe than sorry with concrete. Wet concrete puts a lot of pressure on the formwork. Definitely don't want this to go south. Just yesterday I was watching a video on YouTube. There was these two guys. They were boring a concrete wall. On one side they had the ground and OSP, on the other side there was a retaining wall made out of cinder blocks and they tried to bore 
I guess like a concrete barrier in between the two did not go well for those guys because the cinder block retaining wall it collapsed and the best part is that that huge tsunami of concrete it went into the neighbor's yard and it pretty much bulldozed everything down I think there was even a tree in the way which just kind of vanished boof just like that so yeah always remember when doing concrete formworks especially if the concrete gets really high support it into oblivion don't want that thing to fail but i most likely overdid this So I really, really want to finish pouring this today. Hope I have enough cement. It's kind of a holiday today. So I can't buy any more until tomorrow. Can you guys guess how many barrelfuls it's going to take to fill that? If you somehow guess correctly, then uh, I'm going to do nothing. of applause for the Germany lottery machine 11 years and counting still not letting me down foundation because of the gold probably gonna wait like a week before removing the formworks if it were summertime right now I could probably remove them I'm guessing like tomorrow the gold kind of slows the curing process down the colder it is the slower it's gonna get until it just kind of stops if it's too cold so yeah probably gonna wait like I wonder what the weather will be in about two weeks. Hmm. Winter Wonderland, man. Looks uh, like it's kind of melting away, though. The weather monkeys on the news. They did explain that. We should get a bunch of snow and then it's all gonna melt away. But anyway, I think the concrete has somewhat cured by now. Uh, it's been about a week, so it should be good. Luckily, the disassembly part is always easier. Oh, man. What the hell? Oh man, that smell. I have no idea what... Uh, I have no idea how to describe that smell. But it smells great. What a badass. Yeah. You're like uh like Tony Stark once said. Not a great plan.
Nu vedeți ceva? Mi. Mi se întâmplă. Ha? Sunt pe gem lunda. Pane sucurut natuke iurta, si se magusam. Instead of having a snowball fight, they just want to eat the snow. What is up with that? That is so weird. Now it's Lenny Pops. You know, overall, I think it came out great. I'm gonna wait at least a week, at least one more week, before I set the weight of that wall on the new foundation. Gonna keep the jacks under it for a while longer. Obviously, the thing has not fully geared yet. You know, I wish I had this type of wall all around the building. That would be sweet. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. You know, I kinda... Got scared here. I knew there was a power line here and I knew it was shallow. But I had no no idea about this cable. And the other end is here. So we kinda went through that one. It kinda looks the same as the power line inside here. It's about the same thickness. So I was I was like, you oh mean did I seriously just do that? Not a great moment. Quickly though, I remembered that um, there is a telephone line coming from somewhere behind the dozer. And the telephone line went into the house from this spot. Yeah, this building was the only building in the village to have a landline. Mostly because of my grandma. She was sort of uh, the village nurse or doctor. And she worked right there. So this was like the village's, what, like, operation room, something. But the line is no longer in use. It was disconnected from somewhere. Actually, I can't think I even know where the connection should be. Right here. You notice this uh, shallow spot? There should be some type of a uh, bunker under here. Like um, I remember there was I remember there was quite a big hatch here and I guess it's some sort of a junction area where different uh, wires just uh, meet up so it's coming from there somewhere uh, goes that way there was the house which I broke whoops but maybe there's a line going somewhere there as well not sure about that I've never peeked in there but I know there is some sort of a bunker down here nowadays we don't need any more bunkers if there is a bomb threat, we just kind of hide under those things. Anyway, guys, we are almost finished with this first video, I believe. Uh, there are two more things that I need to do before I want to wrap it up. Well, actually, three. So I need to insulate it, obviously, not just vertically, but also horizontally. Then I need to cover the foundation um, with some foundation material. Basically, that same stuff I put on the cabin. It's like uh, some sort of a uh, cement based um, paneling. The thing will never rot and it will make sure the insulation material does not get eaten away by the sun. The paneling though, it does not need to go deep. I'm thinking like maybe somewhere here. Just slightly below the ground level. That thing is very expensive, so you don't really want to waste it by putting it underground. 
but I need to go get some insulation now. Oh boy. Anyway, guys. Well, I got the insulation, but um, got the postpone this. Yeah, installation. I could have done it, but um, I realized two issues. So before I was whining this not being wide enough, it actually needs to be even wider. So I think like at least a meter. I think we have a meter here, but definitely not there. And this is not even close. Now it needs to be wider for that horizontal piece of uh, insulation. Like I explained in the beginning, the insulation needs to be installed vertically and also horizontally, but not like this, but at a slight angle away from the building. So I need to dig this even wider, but I can't do that right now because the hoe is sort of broke right now. And I'm thinking the ground most likely frozen. Another thing, although minor, it's not a big deal, but you know, I was planning to fill this ditch later with some uh, sand from the local quarry and they even ordered the sand so we're good in that but we had some uh, pretty low temperatures in the past few weeks i think the lowest it got was minus 21 so this sand pile is definitely a frozen rock by now Popcat won't be able to break it open maybe joseph would manage but let's be honest that thing is just gonna make a mess so I'm gonna finish the insulation and also the finish for the foundation next next year as early as I can when the ground unfreezes I guess and uh, oh yeah I also have to fix the Yanmar so I can't really do anything with that right now I'm not gonna spoil just yet what's wrong with that thing but don't worry in the next week's video you will find out but some of you already guessed it so kudos to you well at least we got the foundation sort of finished it's not really much left to do maybe a day's job to insulate finish and fill yeah about a day well at least we can take the weight of the check so Oh, guess there was nothing there after all. Stupid China checks. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna pick this project up sometime next year. Can't give you a clear date right now, but definitely next year. But until then, oh, by the way, hope you had a great Christmas and happy new year. Let's do hope it will be better than last year because 23 was pretty bad who are we getting it's never gonna get any better <laughs> yep it's not gonna get any better bye bye